That's enough. Well, it's Crockett 36, and here we are doing a turn with Sh the Schultz game. His his uh, board is set up. Mine is not. Um, I may do that, but I'm um, having fun transferring everything over to the board. Uh, so this is actually a board game. This is a table game, um, not online. And uh, let's see what uh, Germany did. So Germany, um, I had to redo some stuff. They took out my, um, in a battle here, they took out my... A destroyer took out my cruiser with zero losses, and then they inc inc they also took out the two infantry and the two French units here, zero losses the whole game. Um, so probably one dice, two dice, three, four, five, six dice, uh, zero hits for the allies. Now he did buy stuff um, with he did buy. I'm sorry, he didn't. He bought. Of course, he bought stuff. He bought ships with this okay he also bought grounders not fast movers now turn two is a bit traditional where it's the 11 tank buy or the 10 tank buy um so this indicates uh something unusual going on i would say um this indicates a new strategy for him um he bought an extra sub and an extra uh he bought two destroyers Okay, so that was in response to um, my three sub purchase. Uh, so I would love to see more subs bought. Uh, I mean, more ships bought. I would also love to see. Um, so it's it's always a funny thing to be able to look at this. Now, let me collect my thoughts here for a second. We've still got a, a strong Italian navy. However, we have a huge navy about to pop into the med, so no problems there. I've actually still got a med fleet, plus I would say a fairly impregnable um, uh, London with uh, plenty of air force. I believe I also purchased... Uh, nope, there's no factories. There's no factory um, over here. Yeah. Oh, wow. As my daughter drops a plate, and so, um, so this affords the opportunity for the Russians to not just buy um, infantry. So this was, uh, I believe, two. That's a sixteen plus six, so twenty-two dollars. So twenty-two dollars can be spent. On uh, twenty-two dollars of the seventy or sixty-six, I think it was, um, can be spent. So that's about a third. So about a, if if I want to keep up with the game, I want to sp I could spend as much as a third, um, not buying infantry. So he's he's depleted himself a little bit, uh, and I want to try to take advantage of that. Now that advantage can be spread out over. Um, the Russians and the British, because really this game is about you know squaring up with dance partners, and the Russians and the British are absolutely squared up against the Germans and the Italians. Now, I will tell you that I'm not afraid when I see what I see here, because this is what should be expected. And I've seen people win games with the Germans and the Italians having all of these things the whole game with maybe an exception of, like, for instance, Greece um, was, was the last um, game in which I saw uh, the Allied forces win, and the only place they had on the whole board was Greece. So just just throwing it out to you that, um, that this kind of thing is not dire, especially with, uh, you know, I did, I did the due diligence, um, and London is protected. I've still got a transport here. I've still got a transport here. Uh, Gibraltar is um, is somewhat threatened, but uh, it can be strengthened by those two forces. And that's not an easy attack. It could be a successful attack, but it's not an easy attack. Um, Egypt is, in my opinion, not threatened at all. He moved more forces west. Um, so this looks good to me. And I'm accepting this. And I'm accepting some freedom in purchase. So the question is, what do I purchase? Um, 
uh, when you have innovation, what do you do? I mean, it's the easiest thing in the world to pop um, some forces in here. So let's take a look at the forces that are coming into East Poland and see if we can frighten him. So if he, we could make him delay, because normally speaking, in Germany you have 11 tanks. There's no way he can hold East Poland, right? But in this case, he's got the 11, he's got the 6 tanks, and the 3, that's 9. Plus he's got the 12, so that's uh, t uh, 21. 24, 34, 35, 36, 37. So he's got 37 that can come in there. So can I make... Uh, Eastern Poland inhospitable. So what I've got to have uh, now, it, planes don't count because the planes have got to fly home. So obviously a six tank purchase here from uh, Karelia Novgorod and um, from Ukraine would actually hit him. Uh, I can come at him with 12, 13, uh, first five, that's 18, uh, five, that's 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I could bring 30 against him with what's on the board, 31 with what's on the board, in addition to six tanks. Uh, a lot of my guys would be rolling ones. His would be defending with twos. I could bring these two in. That'd be, uh, I would actually outnumber him, his forces there. I love trying to stand against East um, Poland. So, hmm. all right, I'm going to pause this for a second while I eat my breakfast. All right, we're back. And my purchases will remain a mystery. All right, here we go. This is nice for blocking. So we're going to go to, I believe we're going to non-combat. Um... I'm at war, and I can go to the south. Um, I don't think I can hit that. That's way too many. And I can't even reach it. <sighs> All right, so we'll go to uh, non-combat. And we'll go to non-combat. And I believe this is the time where I move forward. Yeah. Now, I just made a mistake. I can't believe I made a mistake in a game against Andrew A. A. Gamer, but I did. I put these tanks in Kansu, which immediately <clears throat> makes it so that uh, the Mongolian rule is, is taken out. What a dope. What a dope. Um, so I'm going to send this one down here. All right, let's, let's put everything in position. Trying to scare him a little bit. We'll see how it goes. And that's it. Okay, so I got to spread these out. So he's ready for me. Um, 
So we don't want the battle to end. So that's the key with subs and some of these troops that are asymmetrical, is the battle can't end. If the battle ends, <clears throat> then you're, you know, it's over. <clears throat> so I believe he might want to go to Novgorod. So, um, so what we don't want is the battle to end. We want his ships to be out of position, and we want the battle not to end. All right, I am going to just readjust this real quick. I'm going to do everything. So I think he wants to be either here, here, or here. So I don't want to be in those locations. And I want to make it easy for the Allied airplanes to pick off anything he does. Um, so if he, unless he puts his whole force there, he's going to be vulnerable to being picked off. Oh, actually, that's going to work, isn't it? Is that a sneaky Carl right there? No, because I he is the sub can be ignored because he's got warship, uh, allied warships. All right, so we're going to try something else. I forgot about the fact that um, he, if he wants to come in here, I'd like to block this. Oh, and I also forgot the fact that I want blockers, because I think blockers might work. As far as my board has, he has no um, can openers, so this is a blocking move. He can't go in here, so that's a waste. Um, Best Arabia is a waste. But he can go here and here. I don't want him to go to... Do I need a blocker for here? He's got three tanks that can go into there. Yes, I need a blocker there. Okay. I do want something in here. I don't want to relieve a lot up on this quite yet. So I'm going to do something a little different than that. So I realize he could do a raid. And I'm concerned about that. So I'm going to go with he right there. I'm going to go get those other two. All right. I'm happy with that. When you resolve combat, what you're actually doing is, so those two right there, these are a mistake with the computer. So I'm going to put these here and here, and then I'll take them off the board. This is the big surprise I was hoping, uh, waiting on for you guys for. So. You know, when uh, someone messes around, <clears throat> What you gotta do afterward is you gotta you gotta mess around too. I think there's an expression I'm not gonna say, but <clears throat> f around and find out is the uh, expression in the army. I think, and this is my answer to him. What I might call effing around. So, all right, that's it. Um, this is Croc Thirty Six. I'm gonna do the uh, recap. Um, Okay, oh, so I will erase those in a minute. Let's see if I can erase them now. I don't think I can. There's some weird rules about... Oh, nope, I did. Okay, this is a complete board, and it is up to date as far as I know. So, Schultz, if there's anything out of step, let me know. And here we go. Sub in 110. Sub in 111. Sub in one. Uh, 24, sub in 112, cruiser in 113, cru uh, sub in 114, uh, Novgorod has 16 infantry, one artillery, two anti-aircraft, and one plane. Uh, ben uh, Baltic has one infantry, East Poland has one infantry, 
Belarus has infantry artillery. Uh, Bryansk has four infantry, three artillery, and two anti-aircraft. Rostov has two, uh, two infantry. Uh, Russia has three, um, three uh, bombers. Um, Caucasus has a tank and a mech. Uh, Kazakhstan has infantry artillery. Xinjiang has fighter diver and mech and tank. And Amor has 18 infantry to our anti-aircraft. I believe that is it. And that is Russia. Let me just check the PUs. Um, that's not going to be PUs, is it? Should be a dollar saved. $38. Yes, that's correct. All right, let's crack it out. Um, Schultze and um, Russia too.